All right, welcome to day six. Um, today was a pretty good day, we got lots done. It was a bit of a slow start to the morning. We needed a few coffees to, um, to yeah, get cracking on this, this Sunday morning. Had a few beers in the shed last night and some pizzas and got a fair bit done. Uh, yeah, it was good. So this morning I sort of just got stuck into making some more loom connections. As Andre was finishing off the loom, I was just routing it around the motor and and uh, making sure it was all safe and, and out of harm's way. Uh, took a, a trip to the service station and filled up a jerry can. That was quite a milestone for this project. Um, yeah, it was the last fluid to add. And yeah, put some fuel in, got Andre to test the fuel pump, check the pressures and um, yeah, everything was all good. So, so that was good, no leaks or anything. Um, fitted the rocker cover back on, it was just sitting there before, so tightened all the bolts up, put the, um, the, the coils on the nice CNC bracket that we, we made up. After the loom was all mounted up, um, tightened up a few things and checked it, checked it over. Andre plugged the laptop in, made sure all the connections were good. Um, pretty unbelievable that you can build a whole loom um, without really you know checking too many things plug it in and you don't have to change a thing so yeah really stoked on just how professional everything's been with the wiring um, basically plug in check it with your laptop and good to go so yeah we um, cranked it over tried to get a bit of oil through um, the oil cooler the filter because everything's fresh nothing's really got oil in it yet um, so all the systems look good and we connect up the, um, the injectors and it's running. So yeah, we'll show you that in a minute, but it's a pretty emotional day. It's sort of been, you know, a bit over two years in the build and you sort of, you look at all these parts that you want to put on this engine and you never really, like you, you think it, it will run one day, but it just sort of, um, you don't, I don't know, I always sort of expect the worst, so when, when everything works out, it, yeah, it's a pretty proud moment, so I'm really glad these guys could wire it all up and, um, and get it running in, you know, six days, it's pretty amazing, so yeah, thanks to Andre, thanks to you guys uh, for watching and supporting, and um, yeah, tomorrow we're going to pack it all up and head to the dyno. Day six, thanks for tuning in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty destroyed after the last week of working on Nigel's drift ute. We had a few beers last night with a few of Nigel's friends, probably a few too many beers, so it was a pretty slow start to the morning. Got kicked off at around about 11 o'clock after a mean home cooked breakfast, thanks to Nigel and Nigel's missus. That was a good start to the day fixed up that hangover. Got stuck back into the last bit of the loom which was the part that runs from the ECU forward to the firewall. So it was only a pretty short loom, still took quite a while. I had to remanufacture the whole loom from the Link ECU uh, so we had a mil spec loom the whole way. So that was pinning out the whole uh, header plug for the computer using Tesla wire. Got that done wrapped that all up in DR25 sheath and terminated it to the Autosport connector. Really a good feeling when that last pin goes into the Autosport connector and everything's finished. So that was a bit of a sigh of relief from me. Even better was when I installed the loom into the car, connected everything up and actually got a chance to power up the ECU for the first time and test it. You know, there's a lot of work goes into these looms, there's a lot of planning and 
with the Auto Sport connectors and the heat shrink boots we use, if there's anything wrong inside that loom, there is no chance of fixing it without cutting it open. So you really want to make sure that you've got it right first time. Happy to report everything was perfect, went through, set up all of the inputs and outputs on the ECU, tested all of the functions, made sure everything worked and it just did, it just worked first time and was perfect. Got to the point where we could actually crank it over and get oil pressure up. Once we did that, we started it up and it fired up straight away. So really, really happy, perfect result. For me, it's really satisfying. You know, that's a week of my work. Uh, for Nigel, that's two years of his life. So I find with these big projects, when you can actually get the engine running, it kind of rejuvenates everyone involved in the team. Everyone sort of feels like it's all coming together because the engine runs. So we're going to finish off now, it's getting on towards midnight, we've been watching a bit of F1 on the tally while we've been working, we're going to hit, hit the sack, uh, get a fresh start the in the morning and go to the dyno. So tomorrow at the dyno we're going to try live streaming from there, so if you want you can follow that um, while we're on the dyno and see live updates as they happen. Hopefully we've got a few, few little jobs to finish before we go to the dyno. Hopefully we'll be there sometime early afternoon. So stay tuned, we'll keep you up to date with our progress. Thanks for following.